Hi, welcome to another episode of Trini Bites. Today I'm going to make a kalalu, my version of making the kalalu. I have um, the ingredients here. I have some carrots. I have the dashing bush or kalalu bush, as we call it. Some green seasoning, as bandania, it has onion, garlic, pepper. Also have some pumpkin cut into pieces, uh, okra, pimento, one hot habanero pepper, onions, and uh, thyme. I also have um, now you can put any any kind of meat you want. I can put a uh, you know, chicken foot, but I put in a uh, pigtail. I already boiled it already. I boiled it three times already, and it gets soft, and most of the salt is out. Black pepper salt and one cup of coconut milk and I'm toss everything in the pot I'm just gonna get the pot ready and then we'll see from there so I'm gonna start with uh, four cups of water in a pot the pot is hot then I'll throw the, the okra the pumpkin inside together with the pimento, onions, thyme, and the hot pepper. Okay. Closing the carrots. Green seasoning. Kalalubosh. Coconut milk. Salt and pepper is fine. But because being as a um, being as a pig tail already boil, I'll put it in last just to get the flavor. Okay, that's it. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna cover it and have everything boiled together. And we'll check it in back in about 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm checking it now. Mix everything together. It's coming along nicely. I won't burst that pepper until later. Okay, so let's see again. Just gotta cook. Alright, stay tuned again. Let me mention to you that most important thing is salt butter. Put it in the light melt up. Man, bite in my sock. Alright, so we're just checking it, coming along nicely. The color rubosh is starting to break down into pieces. It's starting to melt a little. So it's the pumpkin and the carrots. So we'll check it again soon. Okay, so take a look at this. Wow, smell them really really nice. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna throw the pigtails in. So can you know soak in with it? Right, look at that. It's beautiful. And it's not, uh, you know, it's not long. It's only about 20 minutes so far. And uh, it's cooked. But I got the young, the very young uh, kalalu bush. So it melts quickly. Simple, simple and easy to make. As I said before, you can do it with chicken foot as well. I never had it with chicken foot, but I know a lot of people make it with chicken foot and also the crab. Alright, take a look. Nice. So 
So after about 25 minutes, I was lucky that the kalaloo bush was young, the carrots melted, the pimento, the pumpkin, everything melt beautifully inside here. You know, I think it needs about at least 10 more minutes and it's done. But this is coming along really, really nice. All right, see you soon. Okay, so 35 minutes and we have kalaloo. Beautiful, nice. All right, so next time you see me, I'll be tasting this with the pigtails. Okay, so it's finished. This is it, it's hot. Can I wait for it to cool down and then take a taste? Let's see, it smells down very, very nice. Okay, I also like to uh, promote uh, one of my friends here, Genco Canada LED in Pickering for all your electrical needs. Spotlights, lights, panels, switches, wires, anything. Check him out. I'm going to put his card at the end of the video. He's in Pickering on Brock Road. Okay? So check him out. See anything that you need. In that you It's hot, so... Oh, good, really, really good. You can have this with macaroni pie, stew chicken, rice, anything. All right, it's really good. Mm. I surprised myself today. <laughs> good. The pickle is here, but it's too hot. I'll be eating that soon. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.